Welcome to this edition of my Fireside Chat. Today, I have a focus on music. Earlier this summer, Dr. Christy Riddle and Ms. Michelle Johansson joined me in a Fireside Chat segment to discuss Delta State's international programs, including studying abroad, the newest division of our DSU Student Success Center that provides students and faculty and staff the opportunities to participate in academic and cultural programs around the world. At the beginning of the summer, faculty and students from the music department here at Delta State traveled to South Korea for a week, and that included attending classes, conducting performances by faculty and students, as well as some sightseeing, as you would expect. At Delta State, we believe that opportunities like the study abroad programs produce well-rounded graduates, and we encourage our students to pursue these types of opportunities to be able to study abroad and to see the many things that our international experiences will give us. Uh, we've had a chance to see that side of their major that they won't see elsewhere. And so seeing uh, other cultures and other students and other faculty around the world can help them become better professionals. Studying abroad is also a great way to experience and understand that host country and the people who live there, as well as their traditions and their culture. Joining me today are Amanda Lutz, and Catherine Booth, both of whom are music majors here at Delta State, and they participated in the trip to South Korea. Thank you both for joining me today. Congratulations on the trip. You all are pioneers among our students to be some of the first to go abroad in these new programs. Amanda, tell us uh, a little bit about the maybe the highlights of your trip. Um, I would say that some of the highlights of our trip, um, not only in the performance, was the master classes. Um, it was great to see um, traditional instruments such as the piri, um, how they work, how the uh, traditional court music used to be, such, uh, such as we learned how, like in Western music, we have a conductor standing in front of the band. They would have a wooden, it would look like a big wooden fan, mm -hmm. and they would tap it to give the tempo, fall it out, and then uh, smish it together, and they would start their music with that tempo. It was very interesting to also play. Sounds like a large metronome. Yes, it, it was, and then they would stop and just stand there, which was really cool, and then they would tell them to stop yeah. by doing the same thing, and we got to uh, play some of the instruments, and those were really amazing to um, try out, mm -hmm. and um, we also performed um, at the Henende Cultural Center, but also at a girls' high school. Mm. We performed in front of 400 girls, um, and it was just a wonderful audience. They were so welcoming and they were <laughs> very great. Uh, it was, we took about 30 minutes afterwards because they wanted pictures with all of us. Yeah. And it was really nice because a girl came up to me and said that you inspired me to want to do something. And that's really amazing coming from doing what you love. Yeah. Um, hearing someone who's never really heard possibly that song that you sang or mm. heard that me that piece that you played with your instrument yeah. saying that they inspired you which really touched all of us when they said that really that was a really huge highlight and um, also we uh, visited a couple of Buddhist temples um, it was great since um, I am of the Christian faith to see and experience another culture's religion it mm -hmm. was very peaceful and it, it was just a wonderful experience for me to see that and also the food was incredible there you go <laughs> everything about the food it was, it was amazing i don't uh, think i didn't like it either tell our viewers what a pd is and what it looks like and how it plays uh, a pity um it's it's about this long mm -hmm. and it's made of bamboo and it's circular and it has a couple like i think it's Five or six. Five or six holes. Just like, a flute? like a flute? Not, it's not played <laughs> transverse yeah. like a flute. It's a, kind of like an oboe or clarinet, how mm -hmm. they play. Mm -hmm. And it has a double reed it that it attaches at the very end. And it is like, wah, kind of sound. Tell us what your reaction to Korean music is. Um, I love their, their different, cause there's, it's a different like sound. It's all together, yes. nothing like ours. We would hear different kinds of woodwinds, like she was saying. Like it compares to an oboe, but it was not an oboe. Mm -hmm. Um, we heard traditional flutes, and they were compared to our flutes, but mm -hmm. nowhere near the same. How do they write? Do they write on treble and blaze clefs? Or Ooh, I you? may need her to help me with this. I, do you? Uh, they. It, it was written like completely different. It, it was on a huge piece of paper. Um, mm -hmm. we, we only saw one little yeah, script did. of it, mm -hmm. um, a manuscript, and it was just it was. It's like. It was hard to re <laughs> read, but but it wasn't written out like how we have notes mm -hmm. and like a notes and clefs and, 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 and all that stuff. It wasn't like that. They um, could compare it to it, but it wasn't written like at all. Right. It's, it's something that you have to start out <laughs> learning like you do the clefs. Exactly. Yeah. It's not tabs. 
kind of like tabs, kind actually. Of like tabs. Yeah, like for yeah. guitar tabs, but it, it didn't have like how the guitar tabs has yeah. the strings. Didn't really have that. Yeah. What was your favorite part about the educational experience you had? Um, we ha we did some master classes where we were taught actually how to teach or mm -hmm. how, to, how to teach how to play the danza. Am I thinking danza? Danza was one of the little. Yes, we were taught how to play the danza from actual professors from Korea. So we got to see how they Super. taught, and mm -hmm. then like we were yeah. Well, now, tell us why you think, based on the experience that you just had, why other students at Delta State should try to avail themselves of the opportunity to travel abroad, whether it's in music or any other discipline. What are the benefits? What do you think? You learn someone else's culture. Mm -hmm. um, we, we all know that we have Southern hospitality. Okay, we, we get that. Um, but I know it, when we went to South Korea, I don't think I have ever met anyone as nicer as those people. They people just come up to us and they would be so nice and like you can call me Harmony, which means grandmother, and uh, th just the kindness towards each other, not just towards foreigners like us, but towards each other. And the pa the place was so clean and they were just so kind. And I think that other people need to experience not only in South Korea but in other people's culture and how they interact with each other mm -hmm. to be become more open minded. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Definitely the open-mindedness was mm -hmm. a, a big thing for, they, they were so like respectful, that was mm -hmm. a huge thing, we should definitely learn that, but yes. they, I think in any, not even, like you said, not even music, I think everyone should at least go out and see their field of study, like what they're wanting to do in America, anywhere else. Right, that is really good, so uh, you, uh, you made some friends? Yes. That's another lasting thing, isn't it? Yes, yes. absolutely. Good. Well, I'm very proud of both of you, thanks for joining me today, and thanks for being our adventurers across the globe for, for Delta State <laughs> in one of our early programs here. I wish you both the best. Thank you. Thanks again. Thank you. In other news on campus, the Lady Statesman Individual Skills Basketball Camp is this Saturday, July 21, from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Instruction will be given by the Delta State coaching staff as well as by former and current DSU Lady Statesman players. To register, just visit GoStatesman.com. And as always, to keep up with our events and activities on campus, just go to our website at deltastate.edu. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you the next time.